Hello and welcome to this wonderful, wonderful Sunday. My name is Mano. And so, as you remember, every Sunday we get to do a spoken word. We get to post a spoken word right here on Life Probe. And uh, yeah, today's spoken word, we are actually talking about work. I'll be referring to my book here sometimes. We are actually talking about work. Uh, yeah, and why we should actually all work uh, in the areas that God has actually called us. And so welcome, welcome as we actually talk about work. So announcement, naleta tangazo kuhusu rafiki yetu uh, tulimpenda sana lakini lakini ajakufa ni vile tunamtafuta uh, jina lake potea alipenda betting sana na wanda wase wo ubet hashtag yao kuwa pata potea uh, but then God tulimpata hata squeeze ye Ako hard working, ali change jina, squeeze jina lake ni kazi, hashtag yake kazi ni kazi. So imagine ni father mendiva wange fanya dhambi. Before hata tuongele mavazis then, hatunge wai fanya kazi na step of food yetu ingekuwa ni matunda. But stop imagining because already washa fanya dhambi na wanda mina wea tuko Eden. Na walipotoka Eden, walitoka na mavazi ya majani kama Eden. Na wanda sisi wote tuko kwa majani, yani safari, but aturudi Eden, tunaenda heaven. And that's the reason, that's the reason this world has dark currents, no wonder it's full of fantasies. So today I take the character of a tailor. And the reason I take the character of a tailor is because I'm not drunk for me, te la. Uh, so tangu dikiwa mchanga kalelewa na baba na mama. Na mshukuru mwala chakule kukosa mimi sina lawama. Wazazi ni mwatili mie ni CJ ni kazama. Na wakati mefika wangu mimi kuhama. Ila sio kutoka nyumbani. Mbali majukumu ndio nili kama mtama. So mkononi makasi. Mkononi tep. Sita, wong, sita wongia uongo lakini intawapima. So God was the first to work. Wengine watasema alitumia words peke but si alitumia mikono akatengeneza udongo kaniweke ubongo ni ukweli si uongo. And so I take a minute to, not to describe my work but I want my work to describe me. See every time I use this tape to measure in inches I don't focus on the number of times I have pricked myself on the machine or the number of times a material ran out. But as I cut it into pieces I'm already wearing the final product in my mind. And the sweat that I sweat is like water on a farmer's crop. I expect a great harvest. So these days, I don't shower because I hate sweat, but I actually <laughs> shower to create room for a fresh sweat so that uh, I can get a new harvest. And so the pricks from needles on my fingers are no longer ugly scars, but they are beautiful footprints of the beautiful prints on my work. And my desire is that my work not only covers the shame, but it also reflects and bears the name of he who gifted me. And you actually know, you know, the key to success in any work actually is honesty. 